Hello! Welcome to News Vortex! Time to pay for those who tried to spread the fire in France to Turkey. Investigation launched. Istanbul Chief Public Prosecutor's Office initiated an investigation against those who posted provocative social media posts about the possibility of similar protests in France after the killing of 17-year-old Nahal during a police check. Istanbul Chief Public Prosecutor's Office initiated an ex officio investigation against those who made provocative posts on social media about the possibility of incidents similar to the events in France for refugees living in Turkey. In the statement made by the prosecutor's office on the subject it was stated as follows, an ex officio investigation has been initiated against the suspects who made posts, statements, and publications with criminal and criminal elements by identifying social media accounts that made provocative and manipulative posts aimed at disrupting public order and public peace by creating misleading, untrue and false perception, inciting the public to hatred and hostility, misleading, untrue and false, perception that similar events may also occur for refugees refugees living in our country regarding the events that took place in France in recent days and a warrant has been written to the police for the identification of the suspects, stating that comparing Turkey's migration policy based on humanitarian values with the reaction to France's colonialist policies and racist violence is an unconscious and malicious approach, Selik said. It is a provocation to juxtapose the humanitarian approach of the Republic of Turkey based on dignity and morality with the policies of other countries full of colonialism, racist violence and humanitarian tragedies. We strongly condemn the unconscious approach and ugly provocation of these politicians, journalists and commentators who juxtapose the Republic of Turkey with colonialist countries. On the one hand, they are committing hate crimes by targeting asylum seekers and on the other hand, they are trying to create a climate of fear and hatred against the prevailing climate of peace in our country through conflict mongering. France is an actor that has caused destruction in many countries with its colonial policies and has never been a country that welcomes the people of the geography it has exploited. These politicians, journalists, and commentators are trying to mislead our nation by deliberately ignoring the difference between France's colonialism and discriminatory public policies and Turkey's humane and dignified immigration policy. Our nation has given the necessary lesson to these ugly provocations which were put forward in the most vulgar way during the election period. Turkey is a country that takes responsibility for the restoration of peace in these conflict zones and the return of these people to their countries. The Republic of Turkey is pursuing a strong policy for the establishment of a climate of peace in our region and in distant geographies where no one will leave their homes and for the safe and sound return of people fleeing death to their homelands. As our president stated, we have not only opened our doors to save the lives and dignity of the oppressed but we have also made and are making every effort for their return to their homes. Spokesperson Selik stated that approximately 500,000 Syrians have returned to the safe zones Turkey has established since 2016, when Turkey launched cross-border operations in response to the deepening humanitarian tragedy in Syria, explaining that they support their strategy to keep migration across the border with projects to encourage voluntary returns, Omer Selik said. Those who try to evaluate Turkey through events that took place in colonial countries and have deep-rooted causes based on racist violence stand on the same plane with fascists in Europe. Turkey will not give way to this mentality by continuing on its way with confidence. So what do you think about this topic? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments and like the video. Thank you for watching us and we wish you healthy and safe days. See you in the next video.